Good evening. It's 7 o'clock and we have two meetings tonight. The first is the Cunningham Town Board, which suspiciously looks like the Urbana City Council, because it is. And then that will be followed by the Urbana City Council meeting. And if anybody wants to speak, uh, there's a green form to fill out if you want to address the Township Board. And there's a little white form to fill out and it's on the table at the back of the room if you would like to speak at the City Council meeting and then you give your form to Phyllis Clark, the City Clerk. Okay, I'd like to call the meeting of the Cunningham Town Board to order. Would the Clerk please call the roll? Mr. Bowersox? Here. Mr. Jacobson? Here. Mr. Lewis? Here. Ms. Marlin? Mr. Roberts? Here. Mr. Smythe? Here electronically. Ms. Stevenson? Present. Mayor Pressing? Here. The first item is the minutes of the previous meeting, February 6, 2012. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Lewis, seconded by Jacobson. Any additions or corrections? If not, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? That motion carries. The Committee to Verify Bills, Carol Elliott, Township Supervisor. Uh, for the bills to be paid in March 2012 and also those interim checks written in February, we have total town fund $48,032.47, total general assistance fund $56,917.82. Is there a motion? So I'll second. Okay, motion by Stevenson, seconded by Lewis. Uh, any questions? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? That motion carries. Reports of officers? I have none this evening. Okay, petitions and communications. Is there anyone who would like to address the, the town board? Apparently not. Uh, old business, I don't believe we have any. New business, uh, designation of the tentative amended budget for fiscal 2011-2012. Okay, I sent out a copy electronically and then uh, provided hard copies tonight. Um, and also today I sent out a summary, which may be a little bit easier to look at. Uh, we've been talking about amending the budget for a couple of months due to the increase in the general assistance client caseload, um, therefore driving up the personal allowances line item and also medical care. Um, this is the first draft of the amended budget. We have to have a tentative amended budget on file for at least 30 days prior to a public hearing. Um, I don't anticipate an, uh, having a final copy of this until June so we can make sure of how much we really need to end the year and we can have a public hearing at our June meeting as well. Um, the big increases in this again are in general assistance personal allowances. There's an increase of $75,000 in the budgeted amount, uh, $5,000 in medical care. Um, while I was at this I also readjusted some of the revenues which are very small amounts and in fact the general assistance revenues are up in the amended budget due to the SSI reimbursement amounts. Um, and then we have some personnel expenses, which it's not unusual to have some increases due to health insurance amounts and, and salaries, um, which are different than what was originally budgeted back in June. Um, so for our purposes tonight, we just need this designated as the tentative amended budget document. Um, and it could still be done next month too if you weren't ready to do it tonight, but um, we have to have a tentative budget on file before we can have a final amended budget. Okay. Is I there? So, I so move the tentative budget go on file. Motion by Robert Lewis. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Dennis Roberts. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? That motion carries. Approval of the agenda for the annual town meeting, April 10th, 2012. I think Phyllis is going to speak to this. Phyllis Clark, town clerk. Uh, the agenda that you all received in your packet 
was uh, missing two uh, advisory questions that was filed in my office at the end of February. Uh, I've also given you a memo explaining that and an amended agenda for you all to review and either uh, pass on or make whatever changes you want to to that. Okay, because this did not um, get published in advance, we're going to have to um, do this at a later meeting, but it needs to just be done 10 days before the April 10th town meeting. Mm -hmm. yep. um, the first question is uh, about amending the United States Constitution to establish that a corporation does not have the same rights as an actual person and two, that money is not speech and therefore regulating political spending is not equivalent to limiting political speech. Um, the second one is, and these are both advisory referendums, is requesting that the city of Urbana establish by ordinance that such privately owned public spaces respect the right of polite, non-disruptive, free political speech. Seems like some words are missing there, but. Um. It is, I actually did not put the entire okay. question the way he had it. I kind of looked at the very last part of it and gave you a brief summary as to what uh, would appear on the agenda. However, when we have the meeting on April the 10th, the full question uh, will be on the uh, will be there in copy for okay because we're going to gonna need it before so that we can vote to put it on the agenda okay I can have that for you okay okay anybody uh, Brandon and I guess Phyllis if you could explain a bit about the advisory referendum questions and the process because they were submitted and because there were petitions filed is it are we required to list them both on the agenda and to discuss both of them, or do we have some discretion or some job to, to, to review these questions and say what should be, what should be put on the town meeting ref uh, agenda versus what shouldn't? Well, I don't know if I'm, I'm not sure if anything has changed since 2009, but according to uh, the annual town meeting information that I have that's uh, dated 2009 from the last uh, time that we did it said any 15 or more registered voters in the township may request an agenda item for consideration by the electors at the annual town meeting by given written notice of any specific request to the township clerk no later than March 1st prior to the annual meeting and that's exactly what they did mm -hmm. okay I think the law has been changed and the town board has to vote on what it goes on the agenda is that correct the the town board has to approve the agenda for the annual town meeting that's okay. correct um, and they have to do that at least 10 days before the annual town meeting okay um, but the March 1st deadline is the deadline to submit uh, submitting yeah but it um, doesn't automatically go on the agenda it is voted on by the town board whether or not it goes on the town meeting agenda correct well, no, the, the town board has to approve the agenda for the right. annual Right, so they meeting. don't, right. ha they don't, they can decide what they want on the agenda. Um, to whatever, I, I know that they decide what goes on the agenda. I'm not sure what discretion okay. the town board has. Okay, well, I think we might um, have some legal questions about, um, especially the second right. question, because I think there have been court cases so mm -hmm. we would like to ask some questions about that. Uh, Brandon? Yeah, I guess, and, and right, since we're not going to act on the agenda tonight, we could act on it uh, as long as we do that before April 10th. That's fine. I would like to, I guess, know when we do take action on this, is this a discretionary mm -hmm. decision at this step, or is it simply right. our obligation because there was a petition right. filed to, to put this on the agenda, and then we'll all show up at that town meeting and talk about it then. Um, but either way, I'd like to understand whether it's our discretion here at this step or, or not. Right, and, and then we will need a special town meeting in order to meet the deadline. So I thought we could do it at the next council meeting, which, which would be two, the weeks from today, two weeks from today. Two weeks from today. I have a quick question. Uh, Robert Lewis. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think what we need to do is find out exactly if the protocols are established for a person 
making a question or a ref, you know something available to us mm -hmm. if they meet all the time frames it's still our discretion whether or not I and that's I don't that's know. the question yeah is that right yeah okay yeah interesting thank you okay is there any other business for the town board if not this meeting is adjourned thank you all thank you